Hey, good morning again. Good what morning. A, what a beautiful weather it is right here now. It's amazing. So, I had a couple of requests that you want to see what bikes I have. I don't have many bikes over here in Monaco, but I do have some. So I think it's just a great, beautiful day to uh, go and explore something. So uh, let's go down to the garage, check what bikes I have, grab one of them and uh, go up the hill to see, to see the beautiful views of Monaco. Yes. So I said that I don't have many bikes over, over here, but I actually actually do because I started out here with the with my scooter with Vespa, which is an awesome tool. But if you want to drive a little bit further, like to Nice or something, then uh, it's a bit too slow. So. Oh God, Mark. Good. Yes, better. I managed to uh, to get a bigger size scooter, Yamaha T Max, which is an awesome thing. And I also brought my uh, my bike that I normally use in Czech Republic, and I use it for motorcycle schools and stuff. And that's uh, the MV Agusta Brutale, which is amazing bike, but a bit too loud. So this is my beautiful T Max, and my MV. Sweet. at the top of the mountain right by the observatory so let's have a look at a beautiful view over there but i think we should go and fly the drone a little bit sure to have a bit of fun and perhaps we can also get some good footage to show you how it actually looks around here that'll be cool go. so let's go sweet so that down there is Monaco. Yeah, that's the most beautiful view uh, from around the area, or at least the most beautiful one that I have found. So to give a little uh, idea of how far you went with the jet surf, you started out there in the Monaco port. All the way around the castle, around Port of Pontiel, basically around stadium, and down here to the very, to the very end, to the beach yeah. over there. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful views from here. Uh, we had a little argue with the guy over there, but <laughs> I think we sorted it out and we are we are leaving now anyway. So, but right now there is a time for a run. So I'm gonna get back down and run up here and then we do a little workout. So just to be sh there, from there, you know the city? Up yes. here, where we're standing right now. Should I say that? There to here. Should I say that? No. You are saying it. I said it already. Good. So. There to here. Yes. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna drop you off over here. Uh, you'll give me the chest harness so I can film with the GoPro I'm running yeah. up. I'm going back to our apartment right now. I'll drop off my scooter, get changed real quick, and I will run back up here. You have seen how far it is, so it could take a while. And when I get up here, I'll do a little bit of exercise. You see those bars and poles and stuff. So I'll do, I'll do a little bit of exercise, 30 minutes or so, and then we'll go back down. Please. How you're gonna get back down, I don't know. I'm ordering a uh, taxi and you're paying. <laughs> you know, I've read some comments online of people saying, wow, Evan's got the greatest job ever. People usually do not realize is that right now I am going to be alone for about two, two and a half hours waiting for Carl to come up here with this run. When you think about it, I mean, when you look at this view, it's, it's not that bad, right? It's actually cooler than it looks and I don't have anything to drink. So uh, yeah, Let's see what we're going to do now. So I was about to go uh, fly the drone a bit more and uh, to get some more B-roll since well, I'm going to be here for a long time and I have five full batteries. Um, which is fun, but then I noticed that Carol took out the SD card after we flew it uh, up the observatory to put it in the GoPro. So right now I can't do anything. Best job ever. Sweet. <laughs> oh God. What am I gonna do?
running from our apartment up here to the mountain top. It's really like going through the hill. Really steep, a lot of stairs at first in the town, and then, then running really steep up the hill for the whole time. So <coughs> I mean, it's really tough, it's really tough. Mate, I think I'm done over here with the run and with the exercise. Now I gotta go or run actually back to the town. It's it's uh, it's quite far. I wonder how do you get there? I told you, taxi. Enjoy your taxi. I'm I'm wondering how you're gonna call a taxi over here. Yeah. Bye, mate. Okay. Thanks. One eternity later. So here I am waiting for my friend Nick. We will go together for an important meeting, so I'm looking forward for that. For the first time in my life, we do yacht club. And by the way, Evan still didn't make it home, so I don't know where he is. Hopefully he didn't get lost or something. How are you today, Nick? Very good. Yes, Sunday. I'm looking forward for our important meeting. Yes, you too. So it's a beautiful port of Monaco, and we are headed right over there to the yacht club. So. Tonight there are the very good night in Sanremo because there are festival uh, Italian music and ah, the Friday the night Italian music. I don't know if I go or not. Uh, us sure not because me and Evan we have to get already ready because on Sunday morning we are leaving to Thailand. Okay, for the test. Yes, for another test. But we will be gone for one month because we go Thailand, Indonesia, Qatar, Iran, Dubai, back to Qatar. So up there, observatory. This is where we were with Evan today. Maybe he's still somewhere up there because I haven't seen him yet. So we are going in for the meeting. Unfortunately, that is a restricted area for the camera. So I'm gonna get back to you later. Bye guys. So here we are back. Let's see if Evan's back yet. Evan? Hey, what's up Evan? Since when are you back here? Well, uh, 45 minutes or something. You look pretty tired though. I am. Actually, <laughs> you can say it was a pretty exhausting day for both of us. So I think we'll go to sleep and we'll come back. We'll check back with you tomorrow with the sunrise. See ya. We had a good breakfast and before we do the rest of the activities of the day, I think it's just the right time to pack up and do the checklist for uh, for our trip to Thailand. It's actually not only uh, going to be for Thailand, we are going to stay out until the first race uh, in Qatar. So we'll be gone for um, about a month or something. So there is a pretty big amount of stuff that we have to carry with us. So basically you need a large luggage that's what you need to fit all the stuff in and let's have a look what do we have to carry and if we've got everything so we've got a okay shoes that i'm gonna uh, have on me when we travel one pair of nice shoes one pair of running shoes a lot of towels during the time that i spend on the track just to take a, uh, to get the sweat of my face uh, some trousers some shorts some uh, swimwear we've got our hygienic things so brushes, uh, soaps and stuff. Okay, loads of underwear. I don't think it will be enough anyway. We gotta wash it. My lucky socks for uh, when I'm on the bike. I need my lucky socks because they, they really do bring me luck. Some uh, sweatshirts or fleece if you like. Team fleece. Regular t-shirts for running, for a uh, normal day, whatever. Nicer t-shirts over, over here if you go to a nice restaurant or something and the team t-shirts. You know what, these things are definitely not enough for a month out. We're gonna have to wash something or get something washed, but well, you can't carry everything, right? But there is some more important stuff that, you, that I need to carry. And this is what I carry in my backpack and I always have on me. So what do you definitely need is chargers, phone, laptop, phones, and the laptop itself. 
This is some pills. If you have a headache, you can't sleep. I always, I always carry that. It's really good to have it. Wear perfume. Well, you know, long travels and stuff. Uh, this is my paddock pass uh, for for MotoGP, so uh, that lets me enter enter the premises of the circuit during the event. Uh, my headphones, really essential thing, and it's really important to have this little guy as well. Helps me to get connected on a plane because on a plane they have those two pin two pin connectors. Strange thing, but anyway, those two things. Okay, a dental floss and uh, a lip balm. Then you, then I need my wallet. Money of different currencies because we are going Thailand, we are going to Qatar, we are going to Dubai as well, to Emirates. International driving license. Usually it's not really important, but sometimes they don't they don't rent you rent you the car without that. So it's really good to have it. This is all our cars that we need to travel. So right now we'll be using the sixth and the, and the Emirates. And my passport or passports I got four of them yeah I'm using at least two passports because when I need to apply for a visa and I need to send a passport out and I have to travel at the same time to some of the countries where it requires you to have a passport that's why I need two. and the third one fourth one is basically just uh, as a security I will keep it here home and if something happens I always have it by the hand so I can I can grab that and go and travel I think that's everything now I'm, I'm ready to put it to my uh, to my luggage and to my backpack hopefully i didn't forget anything you have a meeting this afternoon right yes i got one what time uh at one o'clock after one o'clock after one o'clock yeah. and it, right now it's well i have an idea well, the ice skating ring. We've been looking at it for about a month now and we haven't gone. So we've got an hour to kill and I think it's a good idea to go out and test the ice skating ring. We need some more content. Well, there's no way it's gonna happen, right? Quite late. We've had a busy day. My meeting took a lot longer than I expected. You've been editing all afternoon, so there's just a time for uh, for our last dinner before we take off tomorrow. We gotta we gotta take a good sleep because tomorrow we'll be picked up at 11:30 by by our driver. We had a long trip ahead of us going to Thailand, and also before we leave, we we gotta clean up the mess a little bit because. Once we come back in a month, we'll come back with my girlfriend. And we don't want to piss her off. No, definitely, definitely not. So, yeah, anyway, I think uh, we'll it's go to sleep. It's time to chill out. We'll go to sleep and I'll say my goodbyes to you tomorrow. See you guys. So here we are at the airport in Ning, ready to catch our flight to our big adventure. We'll be gone for a month, so so let's follow our channel, subscribe to see what is actually going on over there in Asia. We'll keep you informed. Bye, guys.